Hi y'all, I'm Malin. This is Gaslight Nation. As I've said in many videos, in March of 2020, the stock market dropped by 20% and the Fed used quantitative easing, pushed $700 billion into the market. The market rebounded. The Fed backed off. But then in June, the Fed began more quantitative easing uh, in the amount of $120 billion a month, which it continues to this day. The Fed uses quantitative easing to reduce interest rates and spur investment by minimizing uncertainty. Investment hates uncertainty. The problem with the Fed's ongoing use of QE to spur investment is that our current supply curve constraint isn't uncertainty. It's a labor shortage. Flooding the market with more cash won't increase the labor supply. It will just cause inflation. The federal government's fiscal policy hasn't made any sense either. On March 16, 2020, the federal government started uh, 15 days to flatten the curve. And then on March 30th, in a most unfortunate act of self-immolation, Trump extended the lockdown until April 30th. I would argue that the outcome of the presidential election was determined that day. It affected the election in a multitude of ways, but the big two, one, it destroyed the economy that was going to get Trump reelected, and two, it provided the excuse for various political operatives to override state election laws and greatly expand universal mail-in voting. Now, the CARES Act passed in March and the first round of stimulus checks went out in April while the national economy was still in lockdown. It's important not to confuse stimulus checks with other forms of government coronavirus compensation. If the government forces you to shut your business or not work, then they have to compensate you for that. And our government did in a multitude of ways from the, um, the payment protection plan, enhanced unemployment benefits, uh, the flat out unconstitutional moratorium on evictions, which um, effectively nationalized private property temporarily, thankfully. But stimulus checks, like they're called, are specifically designed to stimulate the economy. How can you stimulate an economy you have forcibly closed? As to the December stimulus checks, it was pure politics. Uh, those checks were agreed upon prior to the election when both parties wanted to buy votes. The, they only squabbled about how much they were willing to pay. In March 2021, more politics. Now the Democrats are in power. They get to sign some checks too. But March made the least sense of all. By March, it was clear that the slow economic growth was caused by a supply problem, and the supply problem was primarily a labor shortage. You don't send out stimulus checks during a labor shortage. If you do, you increase demand when what you need to do is increase supply. The obvious result is inflation, or worse, stagflation. But here we are. Thanks for listening, y'all. One more time. Get it right. Get it right.